Hi there Ram owners, today in your 2019 Ram 3500 cabin chassis, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Kurt's Class 5 2 inch trailer hitch receiver. It provides you with a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver, which is going to be great for all of your towing needs, especially with the extra duty that this Kurt Kitch has available to it. So if you've got a flatbed truck loaded up with heavy duty work equipment, this hitch is going to be a great option for you to get that to the next job site. It uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with the hitch, but you can pick one up at eTrailer.com here. On bottom we have plate style safety chain loops, and I kind of like the contour they've got to it. There's a very large opening, which should accommodate just about every shape, size, and style. Now, you will see here, due to the thickness of our safety chain loops, some of your smaller chains may have some difficulties getting around how thick the metal is. So that's not a problem. We have quick links available here at eTrailer.com that you can slide over your safety chain loops and tighten those back down to adapt it for whatever safety chain that you have. It features a 2,550 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of the receiver, which should be more than enough for large amounts of heavy equipment properly loaded up onto a trailer, distributed evenly. And it also features a 17,000 pound gross towing capacity, which is how much that it can pull behind it. And again, if you take how much weight you're gonna have on the trailer, your tongue weight should be roughly 10% of what's loaded on it. So with 17,000 pounds, you still got plenty of extra on the tongue weight here at the front. So you can slightly overload it if you need to and offset it towards the front without worrying about exceeding your tongue weight's value. It's also rated for use with a weight distribution system. When using one, your tongue weight and your gross towing capacity is gonna remain the same. A weight distribution system will help take the weight off the rear axle of your vehicle and transfer it to the front axle, leveling your vehicle back out, restoring lost handling and braking performance. We've got plenty of different weight distribution systems available here at eTrailer.com for you to match with your particular setup. And as always, I recommend you verify in your vehicle's owner's manual and ensure you don't exceed any of its towing capacities. I've got a couple of measurements for you here to help you when deciding on accessories. We commonly give from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, but since we don't have a bumper, we're just gonna go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our receiver here, which is about two and three quarter inches. And from the ground to the top and side edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 21 inches. That's important when determining if you need a drop, a rise, or a raise shank on any of your accessories. This hitch is custom designed to work with your RAM, but you will have to drill out the holes in order to get it installed. Let's go over that installation together now so you can have the confidence to do it at home. We'll begin our installation at the back of the vehicle. Right at the very end of the frame, you'll have a rivet located on each side. We're gonna drill these rivets out, and this is gonna be our starting point where we're gonna be mounting our hitch. We're going to use a 3 8 drill bit to remove the rivet, so just starting at the center of the rivet, just drill right on through. Once you've got it drilled, the bottom sometimes can come off, but the rivet can still be stuck in the hole. Just use a hammer and a punch to knock the rest out. We'll then repeat the same process on the other side. Once we've got the rivets out, we'll need to enlarge the holes using an 11 16 drill bit. Then we'll enlarge the hole on the other side as well. With our rivets all drilled out and enlarged, we're gonna prepare our hardware. Each carriage bolt's gonna get a spacer placed on it, and they're gonna go from the top down. We're gonna be using these in a moment as just holders for our hitch when we lift it up here, because we're gonna be using the hitch as a template. So having two ready, one for each side, will make things easier. Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna lift our hitch into position, lining up the slotted hole at the rearmost of our hitch, with the holes that we drilled out where our rivets were, slide the hardware down through the top, and then put a nut on the bottom to hold it up. Once you've got one on each side, the hitch will hold itself up, so you no longer have to support it. We'll then tighten those down to draw the hitch flush up against the bottom of the frame so we can use our hitch as a template to drill out the rest of our holes. Now that we've got our hitch up and we tightened down these bolts, it drew it up against the frame, so then we'll take our paint stick and we're just gonna go down, find our holes in our hitch, and we're gonna mark out the frame. We're gonna do the same thing with the rearmost hole, front hole, and then the holes on the opposite side. So you should have four total holes marked, two on each side. 
We can then take our hitch back down, drill our holes. We'll now use our 11 16 drill bit again to drill out the holes that we had marked. If you'd like, you could use a smaller drill bit to start for a pilot hole and then step it up to 11 16 We've got a fairly decent bit here and the metal seems to be soft enough that it drills through just fine, so we're just going to go straight with the 11 16 Now that we've got this drill, now that we have this hole drilled out, we're going to repeat that for the remaining hole on this side and the other two on the other side. Before we put our hitch up, it is a good idea to move this wiring out of the way here. Uh, I already popped it out of this small hole here, you can see this. There's still another one right here, a little bit further towards the front of the vehicle. We're just going to use our screwdriver to pull that up. It can be a little hard to see. We're here on top, on top of the frame so you can kind of get a little bit better look. But you just take your screwdriver down the frame, get up underneath the wiring, and then you pop up that, that tab just so we can set it aside so we don't pinch it when we're tightening down our bolts. We've gone ahead and drilled out all those holes. We went ahead and put our hitch back up with just the rear bolts in them again. This time we didn't tighten them down, we left it loose so we can move our hitch around as we need to to get all the rest of our hardware to line up. We'll now take the bolts that we prepared and drop them down through the top of the frame into our hitch. It may be necessary for you to kind of wiggle the hitch around a little bit to get it to drop through. If it drops through, you can go ahead and place a flange nut on it. Then move on to the next bolt, repeating the same process until our hardware is installed into each of the holes. We can now go back and tighten down all of our hardware using a 22 millimeter socket. If you don't have swivels and extensions like this, you may need to use a wrench in some of those locations. We can then go back and torque all of our hardware to the specifications found in our instructions. And that completes our installation of Kurt's Class 5 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on your 2019 Ram 3500 cabin chassis.